So this is a sort of a test video um, so we can show the students about things that are happening now in the garden even though they aren't, aren't able to be here. So a student asked me how do we harvest bloodroot and so this beautiful uh, spring ephemeral is bloodroot and here's some coming up. Here's these show these here coming up as well so there's all kinds of little ones everywhere and the, the blossoms just are here for a week or two wouldn't you say Raymond yeah. and um, then they die back so um, if you want medicine from blood root this is the best time for it and I'm sorry bloodroot I know I'm digging you up this one this is good for um, demonstration purposes because it's just a little bit but if you can see um, the place where it's broken off is red hence the name check that out and my teaching about blood root that um, these com the beneficial compounds are in the fresh root, um, not so much if you let it dry. So this is what you would do a fresh plant tincture with. So to answer your question, Cindy and others, um, you carefully harvest some of the roots and, um, and then in the next segment we will talk about how you make a fresh plant tincture of them. That's it. So here we have is a nice little patch of blood root. So I think I'll take just about 5% of the roots, if that many. Just need a couple roots for the tincture. So anyway, this is one of the nicer little patches around. Several dozen plants. So we'll get some fresh root and Laurie show, will show you how to make the tincture. After a few minutes of digging carefully from the outside of the patch, I collected maybe four or five nice little roots. One of them will probably transplant into our little garden area we call the Oma Garden. And then also, I guess when I was digging, I found one plant I believe is a sweet Sicily, so we can transplant that because it's a nice thing to have. And it's all tangled up in the, into the blood root. So got one sweet Sicily and some blood root and a few nettles maybe to throw into the go. So Raymond went down the gully and found more blood root and got me these roots and also some uh, blood root to transplant to our <coughs> um, Oma's garden. So I'm going <coughs> to wash these just, just for an introduction to making a fresh plant tincture. So I read recently that um, one reason why certain plants are better as fresh plant tinctures is because the plant material contains enzymes that will start to digest some of the compounds as things grow. And so if you want some of these Compounds, as they are, you have to get them and preserve them before they are transformed in the natural process of growing. Now, I don't think that's true for all fresh plant tinctures, but um, for I think it would apply to the spring roots in many cases. But I think there's some other things, for example, um, St. John's wort. I, it is on the dot, you know, dots that are on the undersides of the leaves and flowers, and that's recommended to be a, a, a fresh plant tincture as well. Although, you know, it's a different plant part, different time of year, different stuff going on. So, I don't know if you can apply that uh, idea of getting 
getting medicinal compounds before they're transformed uh, by some of the enzymatic processes in the plant. I don't know if that's a thing that's just across the board. Something else to learn about. So anyway, look at those roots. Oops, come back here. A little bit later, maybe even a, a week later, some of these will be an even brighter red. So that's about it for washing. And dicing up into, you know, eighth of an inch thick pieces, maybe. With bigger roots, you might uh, chop them this way and that way to get pieces about that size. And there's a little bit on my hands. And I'm using a 40% alcohol. And the folk method, or just one-to-one -one by volume, would be to just cover your plant material, whatever it is, with just enough alcohol to cover it. And as you can see, that um, orange-red pigment is immediately coming off. And we'll um, even get deeper. Um, by tomorrow, it will most likely be an even deeper red. As I'm saying, the those were such new little blood roots that I would imagine the ones that are a little bit bigger or by next week, um, that will be a deeper red. So that's pretty much it. How to make